Alright, so we're here another ring season the gameplay. I just uploaded yesterday, I'm gonna try to start uploading a lot more. Alright, so we're facing this guy, he's got Zach Greenke on the mound, probably one of the most dominant pitchers in the uh, in the game right now. He's got a pretty pretty good team, he's got Piazza, Griffey, you know, all the 99s. We have a good team too, though. I continue to get matched up this season with good players with good records. I mean, my record is pretty decent, he has a pretty good record too, he's up by like 50, 40, something like that. And uh, we have Mad Bum on the mound, and I struggle with Mad Bum a lot. He's uh, he's the lefty you don't want in your OG. <laughs> like Kershaw, he's the one that you want to get, if not a not Bumgarner. So I, I'm struggling with uh, with Bumgarner here early against uh, Alomar. This is a post commentary, by the way, because um, I that's somehow the commentary got cut when I was playing the game. I try to do commentary on my vids, uh, some some more now. All my MLB vids haven't had really commentary on it. And I'm going uh, to throw a strike slider right there. A fastball up uh, up and away. That's one of my favorite pitches when I'm uh, righty v lefty. I just I like to throw that up and uh, up and away uh, fastball. Because people don't look for outside pitches. They're looking for pitches they can really drive. Like near the middle of the zone inside. So if you can just keep throwing it out. You got Griffey tracking that down. He doesn't miss anything out there. Good speed. 96 fielding. Best center fielder in the game, but uh, maybe besides Willie Mays, uh, Willie Mays might be worse than Griffey. Griffey's got a better swing than Willie Mays. I'm on the road to get Willie Mays, though. I've done about almost half of the collections. I'm sitting at about 300,000 stubs right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy Piazza. See, I give up a, I throw a terrible cutter right there, and I give up a home run to a Wade Boggs, a no doubter right there. Can't do anything about that, really. You can't really give up, give up in the first inning after giving up a home run. Yeah, because you're gonna have opportunities to score in the game. I threw another cutter right there, which I don't know what goes through my mind when I just give up a home run on the cutter. So I throw another cutter. It doesn't make sense. So we got really lucky with there. Mike Piazza, he's a beast against lefties. This guy's got Griffey up. Probably the best card in the game right now, in my opinion. It's either him or Lou Gehrig. I haven't had a chance. This this is my second game with Tony Gwynn. I didn't really record his debut because he didn't do that. He didn't do that well. This is more. This is a better debut for him because he's basically he's basically what gets us. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it really, but we had a nice strike out there. He swings at a terrible pitch up and out of the zone. So now it's our turn to hit. So I'm gonna give you guys like a guide to directional hitting. Right? Look at the pitches first. You're always gonna want to aim down. If you're if you're using directional, you're always gonna want to aim down. It creates more topspin on the ball. You get more squared ups. You get more line drives into the gap. If you aim up, you're most likely gonna pop it up. I know everybody likes to go for the home runs and all that, but like, if you play small ball, you get a bunch of singles and a little doubles. See, look. I mean, it's not the prettiest hit, but I mean, it's still a hit. 89 speed leadoff, man. It's still a hit. If you aim down, you're more likely to create better contact. I'm not saying that was good contact, but you're more likely to create better contact. And um, it's just, it's just way better than all the other directions because I've had so much success with it. Once I've started aiming down every pitch, I mean, in my opinion, directional is so much better, it's so much easier than zone. Zone is so complicated. Look, I make good contact right there, but it gets a line out to Ricky Anderson. Zone is very hard to learn. I played on zone for the first three years of playing this game. I just switched to directional like three weeks ago, two weeks ago, I mean, two weeks ago from a YouTuber that I saw, Big Tom K. Go check out his channel. He's a good good MLB The Show YouTuber. And George Brett rolls into what I thought was a double play, but, I mean, 69 speed, very nice. On first base, you don't really hit a double play with 69 speed. Uh, we got Gehrig up right here. Best best hitting card in the game. He just hits absolute missiles for me. I mean, he probably gets a home run every two games. He's, he's just a beast. I love the card. He's in 348 for me. All of my players' stats have only gone up from when I started using direction. That's a bad swing right there. 69 mile hour curveball. The suit Grinky throws a slow curveball and just a hard heater. So that's why he's very hard to hit. But uh, I'm not really getting around on him really good right now. I'm not I'm not squaring up many balls besides that one with Alomar, which was a line out. I'm not I'm not really hitting the ball well right now. 
We just gotta wait for uh, later innings. We'll start to square them up better. We got three two two count. Always send the runner on a three two two count. Two out count. Good lord. So Garrigan's up getting a walk there. Which brings up best card in the game, Ken Griffey Jr. I have him in the five slot because like he is the best card in the game. But I can't take George Brett out of the three spot. George Brett is just an absolute monster in the three spot. Yeah, I just love the card. He's a swing is just so sweet. But Griffey's swing, just Griffey's just a beast in 471. He he doesn't have that many tanks because, like I say, I don't really go for tanks that much. I like to play a little more small ball. Uh, I like to get a lot of lot of little hits, bring in a lot of runs. I don't hit too many bombs unless Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig just hits bombs, even though I'm aiming down. He just loves to hit bombs. We get a we get a terrible swing right there with Griffey. Good pop out. So we're back pitching here. This guy, this guy's feeling good. He's one and one to zero. He's feeling real good about himself. He's like, oh, I got this game in the bag. This kid, this kid's bad. He's not hitting the ball well. So Mad Bum is gonna start dotting up right here. He dots a curveball on the on the edge of the zone, gets him to fly out to Tony Gwynn, my new right fielder. Each row will probably still be playing, honestly, because I cannot stray away from each row. Like, definitely, I'm not even sure. He's probably one of the best cards in the game, even though he's a 93. He has the glitchiest swing ever, and just generates so many blue pits and so many singles. He's just, he was in my lead-up spot for so long. It's just hard to stray away from him. Probably put him in left field for Billy Williams, but Billy Williams has just been a beast, too. I have so many good cards, that it's very hard to decide who to put in and who to take out. I'm gonna throw a good curveball right there. He ends up getting a head off of it. Bugarin. For, for both teams, he's just a beast. Great hitting card. You don't even really, I don't even platoon him anymore for Frank Thomas. Like, Frank Thomas is good, but I don't even platoon Lou Gehrig anymore. Because he's, like, Gehrig just hits lefties just as well as righties. He has that wider stance, so you're not, like, really crowding the plate against lefties. So you don't really have to worry about getting, like, dotted on the corner. So Madam's throwing some hard heaters to Ichiro right here. Ichiro's, Ichiro's fighting hard Ready though. With the o two. Two Ichiro fights Madam for a while right here. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball. Throw a slider, try to get him out, but he ends up getting a lucky curveball off of Kent Murphy's nuts. Let's see if he gets some Kent Murphy back there behind the plate, holding it down. He's gonna take a seat soon though. We're getting Piazza. Well, he he won't take a seat. He'll go to shortstop, but he's not gonna be catching anymore after Piazza drops to like 100k and then I'll buy Piazza so here we got Billy Williams 365 probably probably my second best hitter right now behind Griffey and Gehrig and he just ropes one I think this is gone off the bat I'm just like oh Billy Williams a yard it hits the top of the wall it's like an inch maybe a centimeter from being a home run and I'm just like how is that not a home run but we got Cam Murphy up. I'm, I'm confident that Cam can drive in the run. Because he's just a beast. All he does is drive in runs and hit dingers. I'm aiming down. Aim down every batter. Doesn't matter. Righty on righty, left on lefty. Aim down every batter. It is the, it'll is help you out so much if you're playing on directional. Just aim down. And it generates so much more. So many more uh, line drives. So many more good hits. We had a 3-1 count here. Pretty sure he lobs me a fat pitch right here, and I just hit it. Yeah, I hit it the left field right there. Little, little dribbler through the hole. That'll, that'll get the runner up to third. We're first and third right there. We got Omar Vizquel. All right, guys. Don't. I'm going to bunt right here. Don't get mad at me for doing this, okay? Bunting is fine. I mean, I know we have Kent Murphy on the team, but bunting is fine. Whatever it takes to win the game. See, I was kind of scared for myself right there because I was only, I was down by one, so I had to get a run in. And I was li I was about to bun again with Bumgarner, but both in scoring position, but he brought the people in, so I had no choice because he would have just turned two on me. So you got to be smart in situations like this. You're just like, yeah, yeah, you want to bun and stuff, but like, he's got both guys in, and they're just going to turn two on you. So uh, it's 0-2 right here. Mavim actually puts together a really good at bat right here. <laughs> This inning, we're just about to start popping off right here. Takes another ball, slider down though. Grinky cannot find the zone against the pitcher right here. The easiest out on the team, he can't find the zone. And look at here, I swing at this pitch. That 
was a missile by Bumgarner. And uh, Bumgarner has hit tanks for me before. He's got like two tanks, yeah. You can see it up there. He's got two tanks. And I end up drawing the walk right there. Slider barely missed. I end up drawing the walk right there. Base is loaded for the new face of Tony Gwynn. He's already one for one. New face of Tony Gwynn. He comes up clutch. He sends a rope to the gap. An absolute missile to the gap. 21 speed is not going to score though. So we score two right there. We got second and third right there for Alomar. Just just as good a hitter as anybody else. He's he's a beast too. Alomar's a beast. He gets a lot of lineouts honestly, but he, I love the card. You got to have him at least batting either first or second on your team if you have him. Sweet, a really sweet swing. I used to have the swing on my creative player, but I ended up putting Nick Swisher on there because that's a really good switch inning swing. And I'm just looking to put the ball on the ground. In situations like this, uh, you just want to put the ball on the ground and get the run in. I mean, yeah, you want to hit the ball over. You want to get good hits. But, like, in that situation, if you're playing conservative, play small ball like me, you get as many runs as you can, you get as many runs as possible. See, so look at that. George Brett gets a pop fly right there. That's going to score 89 speed. We put up five runs. Put up five runs in the inning. We still have an out to work with. We have Lou Gehrig up. I mean, the inning's not over yet. I mean, when Lou Gehrig's up, you already know what's going to happen. I mean, what I tell you that he does. All he does is hit tanks. Like, you can't, you can't pitch to the guy. Here's the one and one pitch. Next pitch, he sends one out of here. Yep, that's gone. Get out, ball. And that ball's field. gone deep center field, right over Griffey's head. And, and um, this guy's this guy's gonna leave the game. This guy's mad. He's like, "Come on, Griffey, why'd you give up six runs in an inning?" And I'm just too good, and I just forced the rage for right there. I've been playing amazing lately.